Welcome back. Look where we are, again, the kitchen. And you might be thinking, Oh my God, another dinner with Kelsey? How did we ever get this lucky? And I'm here to say, you got even luckier than you think you got. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a dessert with Kelsey. Woo! That's right, we are making dessert today. Um, Woo! Oh, Sorry. Um, Cody and I have been spending a lot of time watching the Great British Baking Show and it has really inspired us to want to bake constantly. So instead of doing a dinner with Kelsey, I was like, I'm gonna bake for the people. I'm gonna show them everything I've learned by watching this show and um, try and bake. So here we are. And if today wasn't already exciting, it's even more exciting because we have a sponsor, and a sponsor that I'm very excited about, and that is Thrive Market. And a lot of the stuff that we will be using to bake today is from Thrive Market. So for those of you who don't know, Thrive Market is an online membership-based market that wants to make healthy living affordable and easy for everyone. Wait, Thrive Market, that sounds really cool. How does it work? Oh, thanks for asking. Basically, when you're a member, you get the members only prices and members right now are saving an average of $32 every order. Yes! And they never price surge, they don't do any of that sketchy stuff. So when you're a member, you get members only prices every single time. And on Thrive Market, you find the highest quality, healthy and sustainable products that I'm gonna be using today. And aside from food, they also have home products, they have beauty products, and they're all curated just for you. Let's go! They have literally everything you need. Organic and essential groceries, clean beauty, safe supplements, non-toxic home products, ethical meat, sustainable seafood, clean wine, and much more. And you can shop by diet, so for example, if you're vegan, all you have to do is click on vegan and it gives you all of the vegan products and it's super easy. Plus, orders over 49 bucks are shipped for free, and it's all shipped with carbon neutral shipping from a zero waste warehouse. I've tried online shopping before and I just don't really like it because I feel like I can't navigate my way around and I can't find exactly what it is I'm looking for, but when I'm using Thrive, it's super easy to use and well laid out and so it doesn't get overwhelming at all. And it literally got here so quickly, I was not expecting to see it sitting at my door. And through Thrive Gives, which is their one-for-one -one membership matching program, every paid membership sponsors a free one for a low-income family. So hit the link in the description if you wanna give Thrive Market a try. You can choose whatever membership model best fits your lifestyle. I personally use the 12-month membership because it comes down to only five bucks a month. But there's also a one month option if you're interested in that. Choose a free gift up to $22 in value when you join today. Now, let's get to baking. Woo! So for today's first ever dessert with Kelsey, we are making something out of this cookbook, the Momofuku Milk Bar Cookbook, which is a delicious restaurant and bakery. So today I am making the cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow cookies. Holy shit, <laughs> that sounds amazing. And then I'm also gonna make a round of the Fruity Pebble Marshmallow Cookies. That's like pretty much the same recipe, but with Fruity Pebbles. I wanted to challenge myself and do the Fruity Pebble ones also, but now I'm feeling like it's enough of a challenge just to do one cookie, so it we might not even touch the Fruity Pebbles, so don't get your hopes up. But these cornflake chocolate chip ones are gonna be Let's begin. First things first, ingredient haul. Also, I got most of this stuff from Thrive Market, so not only are these cookies gonna be delicious, but they're also a little bit healthier than they might normally be because I'm using healthier-ish alternatives, which is exciting. Okay, baking powder, baking soda, organic light brown sugar, Coconut milk powder. Corn flakes. Marshmallows. All natural. Mini chocolate chips. And vanilla extract. And I think that's all we need. So. 
What's up? Let's get started, babe. That's this is what we do. Oh, when, like, oh sorry. Dessert, Kelsey, we have to like like vibe out a little bit. Okay, should I? Oh, no, I, like you, you can dance with me. Let's get started. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Let's preheat this sucker, we shall need we? Butter. Okay. So. I'm trying to warm up this butter a little bit because it's supposed to be at room temperature. Here. You just for that. Okay, so we're gonna warm this up a little bit. That's the first step. First thing we have to do is combine the butter and sugars in the bowl. So we have to use a stand mixer, but we only have a hand mixer. It's fine, totally fine. Okay, so we need one and a fourth cup of sugar. Okay and two thirds cup of light brown sugar. I have the brown sugar over here. Butter's going in. Now we are gonna do the sugar. So one and a fourth cup. Okay, and then we need brown sugar. Thrive brown sugar, thank you very much, because we're thriving today. This brown sugar is nice. We bought the scale because they use this on the Great British Baking Show a lot. <laughs> And so I think we're just gonna, we should now. just we should just pretend to use it. Okay. Two thirds cup. Yeah. Okay, six hundred and seventeen grams. Perfect. Just if you guys were curious. Perfect. So the sugar and the butter is in the bowl, and now we're gonna mix it up and keep going. We mix it up. I'm really excited. This is our first time using our mixer. <laughs> No. 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 <laughs> what does it say on medium? Ah! Medium high. Ah! Medium high for two to three minutes. Until yeah. It, until it creams together. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm creaming together right now. Come on, get that cream. This is awesome. Hey, you want to you have a go? Okay, so scrape the sides of the bowl. See, that's a cream. Oh, that's creamed, for sure. One egg in. And then the vanilla. Two grams. Okay. That's in. And now seven to eight minutes. Just beat that shit up. Beat that. I I beat the dough up. <laughs> up. 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 It is pretty creamy. Oh yeah, let's keep creaming though. Well obviously. Let's go ahead and just keep creaming that. What's up, you cream here often? Can't hear you. Creamy. Cool. That's looking pretty creamy. Can I feel? Yeah, but it's supposed to be 10 minutes. We did it not that long at all. All right, I'll keep doing it. Let's go. All right. It's pretty damn creamy. Okay. So now we're going to keep beating this and then add the dry ingredients. We're going to beat this off. Dump it in. Nice. Now that one. Nice. One more of these. One half teaspoon of baking powder. Yep. Nice. One fourth teaspoon of baking soda. And one and one and one fourth teaspoon salt. This really fucking hurts. It's <laughs> a workout. Okay. Mix until the dough comes together no longer than one minute. Okay. This is always my favorite part about baking with my mom's. I got to, I got to suck on these bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a little issue. We have to make this cornflake crunch. No, what? Did we not know about this before? I didn't realize. <laughs> so cornflake crunch, um, and you have to like cook it. Oh, good. Good. This is a whole day thing. Is, it, is there a shortcut? Can we shortcut it? Can we just I don't put cornflakes in? But like the cornflakes have like butter and milk powder and sugar and salt on them. Like I don't know if we if we just mix it up and like don't cook it. <laughs> Let's think about this for a sec. You know what? I think we just put I think we just put sure. cornflakes in. <laughs> I do. I think it'll be fine. It's not gonna taste as amazing. But these are like the best cookies in the world. We're not trying to make the best cookies in the world. Well, but we are. We're bakers now. You know? Yeah. But it's, I don't know. We fucked up, you guys. It's fine though, because we can still do this. We're gonna use the good cornflakes. Okay, so you know you have to keep feeding it. And I'm gonna add the cornflakes and the chocolate chips. And just until they're incorporated, I'm gonna crush them up. Yep, do it, do it. Just until they're incorporated, they said. Yep. 
and now the marshmallows. So we just added the chocolate chips and the corn flakes, and now we're adding the marshmallows. Am I beating that too? Yeah, just until incorporated them. Ah! One, okay. Yeah. One. Do it. Boom. Beat these in. Just until incorporated, so cool. just a little bit. Yeah, you just incorporated. Oh yeah, we're good. This looks like beautiful dough. Okay, using a one third cup measure, portion out the dough onto a parchment lined sheet pan. Oh my God. This, this shit is gonna fuck. All right, let's, should we get in there by hand? Roll those suckers up? Yeah, it says to do it like this, but we don't have to. At this point, we're not doing anything like this. Let's the rest do it, let's roll, let's roll it here. Wash our hands first. I can't believe I almost thought I could do two different kinds of cookies in one episode. <laughs> that big? Yeah. A half, really? Okay, so let's make Chunky Boys then. I'm down for that. These are gonna be fucking huge. I <laughs> know, should we not make them this thing? How long are we going in for? 18 minutes. <laughs> these are huge. Some of these are just like all marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> like the marshmallow is really not like <laughs> distributed too evenly, but it's fine. So it also says to put these in the fridge for an hour before we bake them. And my sous chef over here says that we don't need to do that. I mean, I may live to eat my words on this, but I think, again, this is like, they're, they're directing us how to make restaurant style cookies, and I think we're just trying to make, I mean, we're, I mean, we're just trying to make something we can enjoy, you know? Yeah. These are, th these cookies are behemoths. <laughs> this is an epic chungus moment. Okay. Okay, going in. So they're going in. Look at these fucking Yeah, show them the cookies. Beef eaters, dude. We have five, six. Nine. We have nine cookies. Yeah, it's going right in my mouth. Holy fucking shit. Come on. Stop playing with me. It tastes pretty good. These are gonna fucking wow. rule. So for 18 minutes, they're going in, we're gonna clean up, and they're gonna cook, and then we will see the final product in just a second. Alright, five minutes left. Let's do the uh, the old oven light test. Oh my god. This is the biggest fucking cookies I've ever seen. Really? Wait. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, like, look wait, at. Wait, what the actual fuck? They're huge. Oh my god. <laughs> Those cookies are massive. Wait, let's just, real quick, just see. <laughs> they look like muffins. <laughs> it's the marshmallows. I think, they, I, I think the marshmallows we use are too big or something. <laughs> the marshmallows are fucking huge. <laughs> We made cookies for dudes over six feet. You want you want what? Cookies for short guys. <laughs> I'm not a short guy. I'm medium. I wasn't talking about you. Oh. So we took them out because they look done. They look like fucking pizzas. <laughs> They're fucking huge. This is my hand next to one. <laughs> They're also zero percent cooked. Look yeah, at this. The, it's like soup. the middle is like raw. Um. I think it has something to do with the marshmallows. I think the marshmallows might have messed it up. I'm not really sure. No, maybe it'll, I don't know. Maybe it'll like firm, firm up a little bit. Yeah, we think it might firm up now that we took them out. <laughs> these look like, these look like pazookies. They're fucking massive. <laughs> like literally, this is the, my hand. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know how we fucked this up so bad. I feel like I the proof is in the pudding. Wait, why do you think it's your fault? <laughs> Because I just rushed through everything. I think I know everything, and then it turns out like this. That, I wasn't gonna ever say that. <laughs> but look, I made cookies last weekend that are fucking beautiful and perfect. Yes, he makes good cookies. He just, we just needed to follow the recipe, and it was my fault too. We just, I wasn't prepared as much as I could have been. But you know what? We're gonna try these. I'm thinking that actually these are salvageable. I feel like this one is gonna actually firm up nicely in the next couple minutes. I just, we thought they were burning. They look like they're cooked. Yeah. And all cup of cookies come out being like really soft in the middle. I know that because I cooked some last weekend. Okay, so we're gonna just let them chill out here. They're so big. Okay, yeah, look at I this think, one. This yeah. one just, I was like, oh, these three have plenty of room. <laughs> this one couldn't even fit in the corner. It's literally taking up more than half of the tray. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right, well. All right. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> they actually firmed up a little bit. I feel like they're actually cooked. These might, these might actually be good. Okay. <laughs> That's just a lot of schmello. That's all that is. <laughs> oh 
I can't really figure it out. <laughs> Do I like these? I, I feel like there's supposed to be more like cookie to them. <laughs> like it doesn't really feel like- There's nothing, yeah. It completely just falls apart. There's like air on the inside. That's probably because we didn't freeze them or like put them in the fridge. Think so? Probably. I mean- If there's any like real bakers out there, aside from me, those cookies I cooked last week, and we've been over that. Yeah. If there's any real bakers out there, we want to know what do we do wrong here. They do taste pretty good, but they're definitely weird. Yeah. And like the chunks of the cornflake, like, yeah. isn't really working. I thought when I saw them, after they firmed up a little bit, I thought that we had maybe succeeded, but I'm going to chalk this one up to a loss. Yeah. I think we failed. I'm still eating this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go in for, my, for seconds. <laughs> It's a fail in the sense that it absolutely is not how they were supposed to turn out. <laughs> but they taste pretty good. I kind of like it. I kind of like them. The chocolate chips are good chocolate chips. I kind of fuck with this. Yeah. I take back everything I say. I think this is a big fat W. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm out of this one, guys. Thanks for letting me be a part of this. Thank you for, for joining us. These are so good. Okay, you guys. These are pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied. Thank you guys for watching. This was fun. Pretty kind of successful first uh, edition of Dessert with Kelsey. We'll definitely be having more of these. He's back with his glasses. Yeah, I'm a different person. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you Thrive Market for sponsoring this. Um, if you guys wanna get these ingredients to make these or make anything else, click the link in the description and sign up. Love you guys. See you next time.